What's up, guys? Again, um, uh, just wanted to release this vi this video also, um, as there was a uh, uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about, and both kind of deal with uh, women's rights. Uh, number one, there's a Cain, Herman Cain, that dickhead, just recently signed an anti-abortion pledge. You fascist motherfucker. This just goes to prove that Cain absolutely has no respect for women if, you know, he's not even in, because if he's signing, I love how he's trying to defend himself against sexual harassment allegations and yet he's against abortion which is a woman's right then apparently you don't have any respect for women at all dude I'm sorry if you're a if you're a fan of Herman Cain then you're a douchebag and you don't deserve to be on this planet if you support abortion you can go to hell Now, there's also another thing that I'm going to say. If I have not pissed off people already, I'm going to probably piss some people off here. And these people most likely will be of the Islamic Afghan sect, especially. Because I just saw... Because there was a thing going on today talking about... I read on my phone um, about a woman... Um, Name uh, Gomez, whatever her name is. She's an Afghan woman who was um, raped um, by a guy that worked, I guess, in metal and you know metal construction, whatever. And um, he was the husband of her cousin. And he and he and this girl, <coughs> she was only 19 years old. And she was raped by her attacker and had a, a little daughter from this rape. And he, and instead of, and I don't know if this guy went to jail or not, but the whole fact is, is that Afghanistan put this woman in prison, sentenced her to, 11, uh, to 12 years for adultery. So... She gets raped and it's her fucking fault and you're gonna and, and then on top of that, twelve years? What the fuck kind of nut job justice is that? That that's not even that's not justice, that's fascism. Now maybe I'm ignorant. I don't know. I mean I love every religion. I you're free to practice your own religion. And, you know, you are, you're entitled to your own beliefs. But that right there doesn't fall under any certain part of that. That's just being cruel. She was raped. She doesn't deserve to be punished. The man that raped her deserves to be punished. I think Afghanistan or Islamic culture should take a look just the blatant disregard for human rights, women's rights, and other rights that they probably neglect in their in these government structures. There seriously needs to be reform in these Islamic justice structures. You know, a woman who is raped should not have to suffer, should not be punished and sentenced to jail or prison. You know, and should have the right to to an abortion if she's been raped. That is why, and, and that's the same in this country. When, a, you know, in the United States, where we have these people that are wanting, that don't want to have any exceptions for women uh, that get pregnant, even for rape or incest. That's not, that that's basically punishing a woman. That ain't, that, that's not right, that's fascism.
I'm NorCal Nick, president of NorCal, leader of the revolutionist movement, very pissed off, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace.